My name is Brian Gleason. I'm a member of the XPages development team and in today's video I'm going to show you some features of the Trouble Ticket Social Edition application which utilizes the Social Business Toolkit SDK. This is the home page of the Trouble Tickets application which is now using the One UI 3.0.2 application theme. First let's log in. We are now logged in as Frank Adams who is a member of staff and is also a manager. To enable a connection integration, any user with manager privileges can open the manager setup page via the link in the banner. Here there is a toggle switch to turn on the connection integration. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There are two different authentication methods that can be used, single sign-on or SSO and basic authentication. Let's set this setting to basic authentication for now. The next three fields are where we define the configuration values for the connection server, community and forum all of which are used to provide connections integration in the application. The connections URL is simply the URL of your connection server. For the purposes of this video, I'll use the test server that I have set up. The community ID is a 32-digit code that can be found in the community homepage's URL. Similarly, the forum ID is a 32-digit code which can be found in the forum homepage's URL. We take those values and input them into the connection setup fields. Then we can save and close the setup page. If everything has been configured correctly, the basic authentication login page will appear. I'll enter Frank Adams' login credentials, and the welcome page is loaded again. Now you can see that the connections integration has been enabled, and there are a number of connections elements on the home page. Basic authentication requires that the user must log into the application and also log in separately to connections. Single sign-on means the user only needs to log in once, so let's switch to single sign-on and save. Starting afresh, when I log into the application as Frank Adams with single sign-on enabled, I am logged into the application and to connections at the same time. Now let's take a look at the five different connections panels on the welcome page. The community forum panel displays topics from the linked community forum, which we configured in the setup page. The subject of each topic is displayed as a link and a summary of the topic content next to it. Clicking a topic link pops up a dialogue with the topic information displayed and a link that takes you directly to the topic in the Connections Community Forum. The Community Files panel displays a list of shared public files in the linked community. Clicking on the file name allows you to download the file directly and you can upload files to the community using the Upload dialog. Similar to the community files is the My Files panel. This allows users to upload and download from their own Connections Files repository. Next is the Community Members panel. This displays a list of the members of the community. Clicking on a member's name takes you directly to their Connections profile, and clicking on their email address initiates a new email using the default email client. The same functionality exists for usernames and emails on the My Colleagues panel, which displays a list of the user's colleagues from their connections network. One last feature of these panels is that you can click on the header to take you to the respective connections page for that panel. Next, let's look at the new ticket page. When creating a new ticket, there is now an optional checkbox to create an accompanying forum topic for the ticket. As well as that, an update will be posted to the community about the newly created ticket. On the community's recent updates page, we can see the community update for the newly created ticket, and we can also see the created forum topic to go with it. Another recent addition to the Triple Ticket app is a mobile interface for the application. It is leveraging the One UI IDX version 1.3 mobile theme, for which XPages has recently added improved support in the latest release of the XPages extension library on OpenNTF. The mobile interface imitates much of the functionality of the main application. Here we see the welcome page, which currently has some of the same connections integration support that we saw in the main application. There is a community forum view, and there is a community files view. Staff users can view the various different lists of tickets. Managers can view, edit, and create announcements, 
and similarly can view, edit, and create categories. Users can create new tickets, including using the connections integration checkbox. You can open tickets, assign them, escalate them, close the ticket, or comment on the ticket. If you wish to disable the connections integration in the app, a manager need simply go to the setup page, toggle the on off switch and save. This is an application wide setting and users will no longer be able to see or use any connections integration, but can continue to work with tickets as normal. With IBM connections integration disabled, you can still have the benefits of social through the embedded experience email functionality. I'll assign an open ticket to another user, Lucille Suarez. And in the notes client, she receives a notification email that contains the embedded experience. Now Lucille can start to work on the ticket without leaving the notes client. That concludes this video on the Trouble Ticket Social Edition application. Visit the Trouble Ticket project page on openntf.org to download the latest release and access documentation. Thanks for watching.